Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today's video is going to be about percent increase or percent decrease. Uh, really good math to understand, business, finance, a lot of different applications, and also kind of a common problem on standardized tests. So the percent increase or decrease is defined as the amount of change over the original amount. So let's say, what is the percent increase from 110 to 440? So the way I do this problem right here to go from 110 to 440, the amount of change is going to be the larger number minus the smaller number, 440 minus the 110, divided by the original amount. So I started at 110, so I divide by that 110. 440 divided by 110 is 330. 330 divided by 110 is equal to 3. But we're talking about the percent increase. So it's uh, number 3 is the same really as 3.00. And to make it into a percent, right, 100% per is equal to 1. I move it over 1, 2 places. So the percent increase is 300% percent increase. Remember percent, the word percent actually means per cent is 100, so per 100. So 1 is equal to 100 percent. You got to take your final number and convert it into a percent. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at another example here. Why don't you pause the video and do this yourself first and then check your work against mine. So again, it's the amount of change over the original number. So let's say I had $3.6 million in an investment and it changed to $2.3 million. The amount of change would be $3.6 million minus the $2.3 million divided by the original amount. So 3.6 minus 2.3 is going to be equal to 1.3 divided by the original amount of 3.6. I think I'll have to use a calculator for that one. 1.3 divided by 3.6 million is 0.36. So 0.36, convert that into a decimal. To convert a decimal into a percent, I go 1, 2 to get 36%. So this is a 36% decrease from the 3.6 million to the 2.3 million. If I actually wrote out all those digits, like 3.6 million minus the 2.3 million, all the zeros would cancel and it would give me the same 36%. Here's another investment problem. Let's do this one. Again, pause the video and try it. What is the percent change in investment from $1,230 to 1430? So I'm going to do the 1430 minus the 1230. That'll give me the amount difference divided by the original amount, 1230. And then again, I'll do this on my calculator. So I'm going to do 1430 minus 1230, $200 divided by the 1230. So 200 divided by 1,230 is going to give me 0.16. That's equal to 0.16. Convert that to a percent, 1, 2. So 16% increase from 1,230 to 1,430. I guess the first thing you really need to uh, define is whether you're going from a small number to a big number, and that would be increase, or a big number to a small number, that would be decrease but the operation is the same. It's always going to be the larger number minus the smaller number, which is going to give you the amount of change divided by the original number. Okay, well, I, I hope that helped uh, to figure out percent increase or percent decrease. Uh, please comment below if you have any other questions at all, and we'll take it from there.